the silver strikers center back Washali Jazia had to go through the man to get to the ball Siabong Amapena this man can dribble this man can eliminate players he's a visionary what there was in a visionary ex execution you can already see that Lee Ashin is going to be making those runs blindside runs behind the Malawi defense Course, uh, oh, big save. The first re was a couple of attempts by Katuya. Well, for Malawi. Yeah, tournament. Was up and running, and we'll get to how they have been faring. That's Campbell. Ashen, South Africa on the goal line, but don't walk away. Having trouble. Yeah, shot big bullets as well. And Francis Malekebu. 19 years of age, as are many of the starting 11 are from Malawi. Let's go confirmation Zambia nil, Angola nil. Let's say Group B matchup. Cross missed by Leah Shin. What vision from Chandra Campbell. Execution. Par excellence as well. But it's almost as if Leah Sheen wasn't ready for that chance. And when it presented itself, he shirked out of it. Wow. Washali Jazia. Drops deep. That's Kaduya. Steps on the ball and falls. Cap opens for Shaquille April. There are two players in yellow. Cuts it back. 45. See how my pen can be dangerous. Oh. The pass nearly splitting open. The money to have more belief in midfield and attack this. Adil Kaduya has shown that he can be troublesome for Simba. The run by the keeper not convincing. Shaquille April opens the scoring. I mentioned April, it's been dangerous. April does it in real time in September. Get South Africa going. A mistake. By goalkeeper Innocent Kamwambi gifting a chance to Shaquille April, who unshackles South Africa. As uh, Coach Kanisek Kamtara's team to get an important goal. It was the cross from Lee Ashin. The awareness to assess what's around him and then find a ball that will trouble the young flames and offer possession was that of those uh, two chances created Adil Kaduya it's not been much offered by the Malawians yes Campbell wins it leaves it from a pair now Campbell starting to heat up in this game the pass just dropping oh that's a, another mistake Shaquille April involved I ask the question do they stick or twist well, there's your answer. They've stuck it to Malawi. Maybe the Malawi have done it to themselves. Two mistakes with the keeper involved with the defenders. That's going to hurt. At 1-0, you still believe at 2-0, it gets much, much more difficult. That goal will be accredited to Shaquille April. But what a pass there by Siabong Amapena. Caused all sorts of havoc. The first initial touch was by helping pair pop. Goalkeeper come one beyond show. Well, I can show with the ball. The Malawians doing the defending. Campbell runs back on side of screen. The pass is central. Yes, Shaquille April. Surely this is his moment. Now he gives it to his teammate. South Africa score a third. They were so unselfish from Shaquille April. Had a chance to back the tournament's first hat trick, but instead he passed it to his Cape Town City teammate. And I'm sure his roommate as well. 
Lee Ashin. He gets his first of the tournament up and running, looking to follow in the footsteps of Lyle Foster as uh, a host of South African strikers that have made their mark in this competition. How difficult has this now become for Malawi? Work there by Billiard. There's a Lembogazi. Deals with that with uh, complete composure. Mapena. Can get change out of the new side. Now it's Mapena. Mapena looking for the passing lanes. Oh, is that in? Yes, it is a fourth for South Africa. Another assist for Siabonga Mapena. He's got two in the game. And a goal for Kukwano Lekaku for his Sundown's teammate. Those two would have scored such goals on many occasions, many weeks, many months. And hopefully the South African footballing nation will be hoping they'll be doing so for many years to come. That's four for South Africa. No Malawi. Lost possession in midfield. Mapena always looking to hurt you and turn yours. He caught 104 appearances for the Blue and Gold Army from 2018 to 2022. That's surely the fifth, and it is. Flag stays down. It's a mega Mbogazi. The unlikely goal scorer Mbogazi. He celebrates with the rest of his team. And I think Malawi have just given up now. The flames have been extinguished over and over and over. Five times, to be exact. Not known for his goal scoring exploits. Because of where he can add a goal on his under 20 debut. Malawi 1. Africa 2. 4. Malawi 4. There's uh, the announcer that gets it slightly wrong. It's 5 to South Africa. And that's how it came. Cross from the right. It had been coming. It had been coming. Like I said, Malawi, by virtue of the scoreline. We'll see them lead Group C as uh, Como Islands only managed one goal against their opponents, uh, Lesotho. And South Africa scored five against Malawi. Nineteen goals in the tournament thus far. The crowd won more, strangling their opponents and the under twenties of the Republic of South Africa. The next, next in action against the Lesotho on the 29th. Vidboy looks for the pass. There's no way out there for Lekaku. Falling in stages. The fans asking, baining for blood, wanting a fight. And they put money in the bank. Nice pass. Here's the offense of Hosanna. Hosanna. Goes on the outside. Cuts it back on the follow-up. Ponelo. Hits the upright. And Malawi survive. The indemnity of conceding six. There's a few minutes now remaining in this game. About four minutes remaining. With uh, anticipation of injury time. Is that the six? Bomelo just can't wrap his foot around it and get the job done. 